welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you are new here, my name is Shayla. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I have a massive haul show and tell video for y'all. I know you love those. It's been a while since I've seen you, so it's nice to see you. <laughs> um, I've been away just for a little bit. Um, I have... Um, I had some issues with YouTube, um, mostly trying to verify my identity, um, and of course my license was expired. <laughs> and here in Texas, you have to wait for an appointment to get your license renewed. So we are back. Um, I have a fresh new license. I was able to get all of that done and taken care of so I can come back and talk to y'all um, and share all the craftiness. So get your cup of coffee, get some, you know, snack, because this is going to be a long one. I have accumulated quite a bit. Um, so let's jump into it. Okay, so um, I have a few of the bigger things that are on my desk that I wanted to show y'all. And let me just start by saying I have thrifted, bought online, um, gone to my usual spots, which is Austin Creative Reuse, a local store to me, um, and, um, you know, the Goodwill Outlets. I think there might be a few things in there, too. I haven't been there as often as I usually go, um, but yeah, so it's just from all over, and I'll try and tell you prices if I remember. It's been a while. Okay, so these two items I got online. Um, this one I got from Whatnot. That is an app that I frequent. I also do live stream selling on that app as well. And the link is in the description if you want to sign up and see all the goodies. Um, but I got this really cool, I'm guessing this is a catalog card drawer. And it's not super big, um, but it's perfect to hold little bits of ephemera or something. And I just, it's in really good condition. Um, so yes, this is by the seller Owletto. It's Owl and then E-T-T-O on whatnot. That's where I got this one. Um, and she sells all sorts of cool vintage paper and stuff. I love her shows. Um, and then this one I got from, I believe it's called Cottage Core Vintage on whatnot. Um, she sells like all this like vintage, vintage cute cottagey type things. Um, and I know she lives too in like an 1800s home. So I think that's super cool. Um, but it's a little, you know, I mean, it was described to me like this. The paint's peeling off. There's some cracking. Um, it doesn't quite shut all the way, but look at this. You can tell it's hand painted. It's so very cute, especially for spring. And she's little too, so she'll fit some cute little things in there. She needs to be cleaned, but um, but yeah, I thought this was so cute. And I even, I personally, I don't know, maybe it's the junk journaler in me. <laughs> I really like this, you know, this kind of like pa peeled paint look. I think it just looks super cool. So I was excited to grab this. And this, I remember this guy, it was only five bucks. I couldn't believe it. Um, and she has like a little opening there. So that will be cute to tuck some things into. I'm getting more into like wood type storage containers. Um, and speaking of that, I remember this is a recent one I got. Um, I think I took the price off, yeah. It was $2. I got this at Savers, which is just a thrift store. Um, I don't know if they're located everywhere, but I think mostly everywhere. And the paint's kind of peeling off a little bit. Um, but I can't tell if that's just supposed to be like that. But I really liked it. It's just like a cute little mail sorter. Um, and the stars are just adorable. I don't know if someone hand did that or what. But I just thought it was super cute. So I have that guy. And then this one is really fun. Um, this one actually I did a repair on. The ear had come off and I just glued it back on. This is definitely made out of like paper mache or something. I got this at Austin Creative Reuse and it was 50 cents. What a steal. But look at it. It's definitely, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Um, but I thought this would be cute to put pencils or something in. I absolutely love it. It's like a cute vintage Halloween creepy cat. Um, so I'm in love with this guy. He's super cute. He does shed though with the glitter, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe we need a little glitter in our lives. See, I think once I put pencils in him, he'll stay. So there's those. I'm going to move some of the bigger things 
out of the way here so we can dig into the rest. And you know what? I'm just going to set them on the floor next to me. Okay, let's see. What do we have next? So this is the most recent stuff that I have acquired. And I think all of this was from Austin Creative Reuse, if I'm correct. Um, okay, so I got these. I'm honestly not too sure <laughs> what these are yet. They just looked really cool. <laughs> which signals that I have a problem. Um, so these were 50 cents each. It says that they are made from rag paper and they're hand painted. Um, and it says a great medium for making designer jewelry, art, home decor products, cards, and craft projects. So I said cards and I was like, okay, so I can use this for paper craft. Um, but that's what it looks like. And we can open one up. It looks like these were originally from Hobby Lobby. I probably don't have these now. Let me get some scissors. I want to cut the paper here. Okay. We'll see what they look like. Oh, so they're just like thick paper. Maybe they're stuck. Oh no. Let's see if we can just rip this off here. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Can I take this off? Ooh. Okay. Oh no, it's starting to. Welp, it looks like that ever so slightly decided to stick. Let me see if I can get the other side off. Okay. I might just have to cut that part off. All right, well that's, that's fine. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Very pretty. It's definitely thick. I don't know if you can see that. So that'll be an interesting texture. It almost feels like, what is it? Like a faux leather or something? Um, yeah, hopefully those all come off, but I might not end up keeping all of these. Um, we'll see what I come up with to play with these, but that's kind of fun. Let me move these this out of the way here. Okay. Okay. So I have those and then, um, you know, I can't resist. Okay. I'm sure you're wondering what this is. <laughs> this is a little coin purse. It says cat butt field guide. <laughs> uh, I thought this was really cute. I don't know if I'll hang on to it or anything. It's just a cute little coin purse. It looks like one of those recycled ones, but I just thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Um, okay, and then I got this box. It was 25 cents, but it's so, you know, obviously you can tell like the cat thing. Look at these little kitties. Oh my goodness. Got some dirt in there, but that's okay. It's so cute. So I'll have to find something small. I can always use, um, you know, containers and things. Probably too. My, my husband makes fun of me for how many containers I have, but you know, it's better to be organized. Okay. And then I have this guy. Um, so if you don't know, I collect Pusheen. Yes. Another cat thing. This was a dollar and it's like a cute, it reminds you of something you could put, um, you know, Q-tips or something in. So that's what I thought I could use this for. It's so cute though. Look at, look at the Pusheen. I love Pusheen. I don't know if y'all on YouTube, Pusheen actually has a YouTube channel and they have like little animated shorts. They're so adorable. Highly recommend if you need like a mood booster because they're really cute. <laughs> um, okay, I got these hand fans. They were 25 cents. They're minis. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. And these honestly might be like giveaway items for my whatnot channel. Um, I like to do giveaways with my shows, so this could be like a little freebie item, but I just thought they were really, really pretty. Um, 
that one's super pretty. And then I loved like this simple pink one. Very, very pretty. So I got those two. And then I also got, so this one um, was a bit of a splurge. It was $4, but look at this trim. Isn't it so pretty? And I love that it changes colors throughout. Um, I actually got a fiber tool, which I'll show y'all when we get to it. <laughs> um, so I, I thought that would be neat for that. Okay. And then the last thing in this bin is this magazine book handcrafted. Um, I thought there might be some good ideas in here. So I got it to just kind of for some light reading, you know, uh, I love like fiber, fiber arts. I would love to get into fiber arts. Yeah. And I thought that was cool. They're like the fabric beads. So maybe there's some good ideas in here that I can share with y'all. I don't know. Definitely have to go through it because some of it might be like scrapbooky, you know, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's handcrafted by Stampington and Company in case anyone's interested or wants to look it up. Jeez, looks like this was like $14 originally. Um, okay, so that's it for that one. Let me clear off my desk once again. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with a fresh <laughs> new partial pile. I still have more, <laughs> um, but let's see. Okay, so um, let me get some paper because I want to try these out. Let's see here. Okay, we'll use this guy. Okay, so, yes, Pusheen. Um, <laughs> so I got these pens, there's three of them, um, and they write, but the lead, I don't know if you can see that, is colored. So when I write, like, let's say, you know, I'll write my name, Bubby and Ben. Oh, okay. Me. There we go. Um, so they actually write, I don't know if you can see that, that writes in green, which I thought was really cool for like a mechanical pencil. And then this one is red. So red. And then I have a pink. Pink. Isn't that cool? I didn't even know they made things like that. So these will go in my arsenal of, you know, journaling supplies or um, creative planning supplies. I'll actually put those away right now because it's right by my desk. Um, okay, up next I have some stickles. These were, I think, 50 cents to 25, tw oh, 25, 25, okay, that one's 50, 50, and 50. So these are 25 cents. Maybe because they're partially used, but I loved the colors. I don't have these colors. So we have, um, and this is the Ranger Stickles. I don't know, does Ranger own Stickles? I'm not sure. But this one is Sea Foam, which I think it looks more like an olive -y color, but that's me. And then we have um, Orange Slice. That one definitely looks fun. <laughs> I do like that color a lot. Um, and then this is a, okay, well, this is the other stickle, and this is just says green. Honestly, it looks more like seafoam. So it looks more like what this color should look like, but that's me. And then um, I have the liquid pearls. This is the platinum pearl. So it's kind of like a silver, basically. Um, and then these guys, this is another liquid pearl. I loved this color. Very pretty. Raspberry. And then we have Juniper, just a really pretty blue. And these are great to add dimension to like your paper projects. And then Cantaloupe, which I just thought was a fun color. I don't have a lot of yellows or oranges. Um, so I got those and let me just put those away because I have my stickles right here. That way it's one less thing I have to do later because <laughs> I will have a lot to put away. Um, and, I, and up next, I got this for a dollar, y'all. Look at this. It's definitely vintage, um, and there's a ton of it. And it's like, I don't know if you can see that. 
it's kind of like um, iridescent. It's not picking up super well, but it's like an iridescent creamy white. So it's not quite like, you know, stark like copy paper white. It's more vintage white looking, which I thought was would work really well in projects. So there's that. And then um, these guys are embossing powders. They were a dollar a piece. Um, there was tons of them, but I just got these two. But look at, I don't know if you can see, it's not just pink, there's like black in it. And so they call these black laced. So this is Sweet Melissa, which is like a pink and a black. And then this one is Cheshire, like the cat from Alice in Wonderland. Um, and this is black lace as well. So it's like purple and black. So these would be cool for like Halloween projects, I think. Um, I need to I need to start playing with my embossing stuff. I, I think I need a new embossing pad to be able to play with it, but I'm sure I can find that. Okay, up next, this is a, um, it was 75 cents. And this actually I used in a recent project on my Whatnot channel. Um, and I'll probably make a video for my YouTube too. It was a kit that I was selling and I was making junkie birds, which actually I can show you. Let's see, where is my junkie birds? Okay, so I have two examples. Um, one is a altered paper clip. And y'all let me know if you're like, yes, make a video. Um, put a comment. <laughs> so this was my first one. My little junkie bird, you can see I used um, these guys for the eye. Super cute, right? It has a little googly eye and it just fits on your page. This is a sewing pattern. Very cool. And then there's those stickles. <laughs> see, they just make it all awesome. And then this was my tag that I mean. Um, and someone had commented um, on my YouTube or on my whatnot when I was making these that this looked like the little red hen. And I have to agree. <laughs> Um, and then this is a little bird's nest I made with beads and thread. So these were so much fun to make. Um, definitely, uh, if you guys want to see a video on how to make these, they're super easy. I'm happy to do so. But yeah, so that's what I made with these. Um, and someone just must have gone wild and punched out things on maybe paper they didn't want to use. But they're all different colors. Look at that purple one. Um, some are very flashy. This one's actually from a playing card. I recognize that. And some of them are like just shiny. So, I mean, this will take me a while to go through and I probably won't use all of these, but, um, they were a nice, you know, for 75 cents, that's a lot to play with. So those are cute. They caught my eye cause you know, they're sparkly. Okay. So I have, um, this stamp. It's a bingo stamp by Carabell Studio. It's just one stamp, it was 50 cents, brand new. Um, it's one of those that you put on an acrylic block, like it doesn't have a wooden block on it, but it's still super cute. I figured I could use that for something. Um, what else? This is uh, Tim Holtz Ideology Game Spinners. I don't know if these are new or old, um, but they are 50 cents for a new package, which is unbelievable. So, um, I can probably use these. You can dangle these as like a charm. You could put it on a cover. There's a lot of things you could do. You could probably use these as like a closure of some sort since they have a brad. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you have ideas for these, let me know. Otherwise, if I don't use them, I'll probably end up, um, putting them on like whatnot or something. And then these are cool. So these are special rocket gears. Um, I actually have an upcoming train for my whatnot, which is like a special show that gets organized and you have like an hour or something. Um, and it's steampunk. So these will actually come in handy for that. So I'll hang on to these. I probably should just, I'll put these right here. It's a good idea. <laughs> so I don't forget. <laughs> it's easy to forget when you have a lot of things. I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful, but um, okay, these were envelopes. They are 25 cents, but look at how cool these are. Aren't these amazing? And I guess that's the artist, maybe. I just thought these were beautiful envelopes. I can definitely do something with these. Um, 
Sorry if you just heard my dog snore. <laughs> he is sleeping his heart away. It's raining here in Texas, so um, it just feels like a sleepy day. You know, sometimes we need that though. Okay, all right, well, we'll put that back in a minute. <laughs> Again, I might put these here because I have another thing I'm doing um, next weekend. And it's the Junk Journal Jamboree on whatnot where people sell their handmade junk journal goods. Um, again, my link is below if you want to bookmark that show. Um, and it is spring is in the air. And don't these look spring to you? I mean, he looks so cool. So maybe we'll use those in a project. Okay. And then I'm going to save this. I don't know if y'all saw the recent um, video by Treasure Books on how she uses plastic packaging. I was so inspired and I realized how much of this I don't save. So I'm going to save it. <laughs> One more thing. <laughs> um, but still, y'all should definitely go watch that. Um, okay, this is the next one, 25 cents. Um, it looks like these are just some die cuts for pets. And I'm guessing that those are like different die cuts that are in there. I'll have to open it up, but still super cute. Um, okay, these were, I'd probably say 25 to 50 cents if I had a guess, but they're just butterflies, they're acetate. Um, they're actually for, it says party picks, so these are probably for food or like desserts or a cake or something, but I thought you could use these on paper. Um, I like that they're clear too. So I got those and these are, these are originally from Pier 1, which I think, didn't they close all their stores? I don't know. Um, okay. And then this one is interesting. So this was a dollar. I got this because I have a lot of alcohol inks that I want to play with. And I think this, um, I think this, yeah, it's muslin. Um, you can do like the inks and stuff because Tattered Angels does like al alcohol, like spray ink things. Um, I might even have a few. So I thought maybe I could play with this and I was maybe thinking of turning these into snippet rolls. So we'll see. Um, but these are cool. Let me just, all my ideas start running wild and I'm like, let me just set that aside. <laughs> that could be useful. Okay. So these are cool. These were 25 cents and I just broke that. That's okay. Um, but they're like giant playing cards. They're not super big, but they're pretty big. So I thought these would be fun to alter or do something with. You can make these into pockets. They're so giant. Like, I don't know. They're very plain. They're not um, like dirty or old or anything, but that's okay. So these will be fun to play with. I probably won't keep all of these, um, but I don't know. I don't have giant playing cards, so I had to get them. All right, this one, 25 cents again. Um, these are vellum pockets, super cute. Stitch vellum, three pieces, not many in there, but I could probably use those for something. I really like uh, the look vellum gives. And then this one was a dollar. I think I paid a dollar fifty for it. Um, it's been a while, but it's just some uh, six by six paper. And again, I probably won't keep all of these. I'll probably share some of these. Um, ooh, the chairs are cool, but they're kind of you know they're like shabby chic vintage. And they do. Re oh. <laughs> they just went everywhere. I was like, and they do repeat. Okay. Keep on going here. That one's pretty. We have a little vintage pattern one. Some brick looking. It's the same kind of one. Some writing. And these make great like background pages. Like if you're going to make a master board or something, look at that one. So pretty. I forget what this style is called. You know where it's like all in blue and white? I think it's um, deft, right? Is that right? Maybe. Um, and then some floral can always, floral is always useful 
for really any project. Is that double sided? No. Nope, it's just turned around. I was like, wait a second, <laughs> is there a back to these? Um, some more floral, some kind of plaid, and that's about it. But still, that's a great grab for $1.50. I'm happy with that. There's lots of duplicates too. So, you know, if you're doing like a bigger project and you need more than one, there's multiples. Okay, let's clip back together. And okay, this one's fun. So $2 I paid, but these are like texture tools. So I don't know if you can see those. Let's just pull them out if I can. There we go. So they're like sponges, but they're on, sorry, my dog just snored again, <laughs> but they're on, um, like wooden handles, kind of like the daubers are. Let me, do I have, oh, let me reach, reaching. So like the daubers, but they're, you know, they're not like, oh no, they're not a dauber. They're like sponges, which is really cool. So I thought I could play with this a little bit. This one's like that sea sponge. I bet these would make really good like textured papers. And then we have like a bristly. So I thought those were so cool. I've never seen anything like that. Um, and these, the brand, in case you're curious. It, yeah, it calls it texture tools. And then on the back it says distressing brush kit. Um, and these are by close to my heart. If anyone's interested in those. In case you want to look it up. I don't know where you find them, but there you go. Um, okay, and then this, I was so excited. I've been wanting one of these for a hot second, and um, I just can't bear myself to pay full price because I usually end up finding it thrifting at some point. <laughs> um, but this is a jelly plate. It's a small one. It's not very big. There's my hand. But I think it's perfect for, you know, just playing around with um, to see if I'm interested in it because I honestly – have heard it can be tricky to get started at first learning how to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm I so I think it'd be so neat to make my own like mixed media paper. So I won't open it because I think it's like jelly and I have hair, you know, I live with pets, so <laughs> I'm like it might stick. But um, but yeah, for a dollar, that's amazing. I was so excited for that. Okay. Um here is another thing. Someone is just honking their car horn. Okay, they're done. Um, here is another stamp set. They're just frames, but I mostly got it because I like this ticket um, stamp. So they're just clear acrylic. Looks like they might have never been used, which is cool. Uh -uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're in this nice little case as well. So... I mean, I don't know how much I paid. Probably like a dollar or two for this, but super, super cute. Um, and then I got some Prima flowers because I can't help myself. I have tons of the flowers, but I don't have any of the, these styles. So, you know, your girl had to get them. <laughs> um, they were a dollar a piece, but I mean, that's a pretty good deal considering Hobby Lobby looks like was selling them for four a piece. But look at the colors. I just love like the muted. It almost looks like um like a gothic chic on that one. And then this one's just really colorful. But I love the sparkle. And I like that these are smaller. Um, and then these have really pretty pearls in the middle. So I was definitely like, I have to get those. <laughs> of course, right? Um, and then I got these. I just thought these were really pretty. And they were with all the others, and I was like, may as well. I mean, I'm already, I've already bought a lot, so what's one more? <laughs> um, so I got those too. Okay. All right, we are done with that stack. Let me clear this away, and we're going to get the rest out. Okay, so I cleared out the rest. This is the 
bottom of the bin. <laughs> I told y'all it's been piling up. I'm glad I'm recording this. So um, we're going to go through this and then that'll be it for today. So, okay. So these are 25 cents. Um, they are sequins or confetti, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I don't know if you can see. Let me pour a few. They're little hearts. They're like pearl pink, baby pink pearl hearts with arrows going through them. I love unique like confetti and stuff because you can put these in like shaker cards. Um or like, you know, pockets and stuff like that um, and make it just look super cute and have like an added dimensional effect. Um, so I thought these were super adorable. I had to get those. I've never seen any like that. Okay, this one was more for fun. It was a dollar. It's plastic. It's probably definitely vintage. It could use a little clean, um, but it's a recipe card holder. Isn't that so cute? And look, it even comes with the dividers for your recipes. I don't know what it is, y'all. I've been so into, I think it's like growing on me more and more of like the country cottage thing. I wouldn't say I'm super like cottage core, you know, I, I know that that's a thing, but the country cottage, it just kind of reminds me of like growing up and being in like my grandma's house or my great, great grandma's house or something. And there was all this like cute country decor. Um, that's just what I grew up with. So I guess it's just comforting, you know, it's something close to home. Um, but yeah, I had to get this little guy. <laughs> it's so cute. So there's that. Um, this I remember I found at the Goodwill outlets. I was actually with my mom and my mom found it and she was like, you need this because she knows I love ladybugs. My husband calls me ladybug. Um, so it's just like a cute little crafty tote, but you can put your tools in here. You could put like some paper or something in here. Um, so I'm sure it'll get use at some point because, you know, I won't always just be in one spot. Sometimes I got to travel. <laughs> I don't know when, but sometimes. So, um, so yeah, there's that. And this is really cool. So this is actually, um, it was a dollar. It is a piece of a quilt, like I guess an unfinished quilt, or I don't know if they cut it up or what, cause this side is open, but this side is sewn. Um, and I actually got it to make, I've seen people make quilted snippet rolls. Let me turn this, scoot them back there. Um, I've seen people make quilted snippet rolls. And so I thought, I could cut strips and then, you know, sew over it um, and put paper and stuff like that and make little quilted strip it, uh, snippet rolls. <laughs> strip it rolls. <laughs> ah, that's great. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got that for. That'll be a fun experiment. I'm still pretty new to my sewing machine, so I don't know how it'll do on, like, this material, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not super, super thick. Um, okay, getting down to the nitty gritty here. So this was a dollar. Um, they're like some, I don't know what you call these. Here, we'll open them. I thought these might be cool on the cover of a journal because they're, they are metal, so they're heavy, but like on an old book or something. Oh, I didn't know that one was painted, but that's still cool. But that's what it would look like, I think, on the other side. Oh, it comes off. Very, very cool. And then here's this one. Yeah, I don't know. These are like, you know when you see the drawer and before it has the pull, it has like a cute decorative piece. I forget. Uh, back plates, maybe? Plates? I don't know. And there's that one. This one looks like it's partially broken. Still cool, though. You could still use it for something. So yeah, I thought those were kind of neat. They definitely look older. They feel older. Um, but maybe I can use them for something cool. Okay, set those right there. Um, I found this little, I just really liked this. It's a, it says play with abandon. And you know who I think of when I see this? I think of Pam at the paper outpost. I think she says something similar. It's like create with reckless abandon. So play with abandon, it, it just reminds me of Pam 
and she was one of the ones that I started watching when I first started YouTube. Um, she kind of got me into junk journaling, so, you know, she's my idol. <laughs> Um, so I saw this and I was like, oh, I love that. It just reminded me of Pam. So there you go. Play with abandon. And then what else do I got? Okay. These are, uh, clay beads, I guess. They're $2. Um, they're kind of like connector beads since they have them on both sides, like the loops. But aren't these so neat? They're clay. I don't know what I'll use these for um, or when I'll use them, but I thought they were really neat. And they're very lightweight because they're clay. So who knows? I don't know if someone handmade these. It kind of looks like it, but those are really cool. Okay. Um, these I got, the uh, rubber band broke. They're 25 cents. They're just some um, little treat bag envelopes, sacks, if you will. Um, but I loved the colors. I thought they were very fun and they're a nice little size. They could definitely be folded and put in as like a signature in a journal or something. Um, they're a nice little size. I feel like they might even fit on a page if your journal's big enough. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them for 25 cents. Can't beat that. I am going to have so much to put away. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this one was 25 cents. It is just some old, it's like an old ledger. Um, I don't think there's anything written in it, but you can tell like, I guess it's not ledger. It's just line paper, but it has like the ledger, you know, where they mark the pages. So I thought that was really neat. Um, there's not many in here, and I don't know what the integrity of the page is, like if I fold it, if it'll break or not, um, but I love the color. It's very, very caramely, very old looking, like it's been sitting in a musty bookcase for a while, and I love it. It doesn't smell musty, but it looks like it. <laughs> All right. This one was $0.25. Cents. Um, it is some lace. It probably was marked that way because of the staining. There's some staining right here and on different lace bits. But I kind of like that. It just makes it a little grungy. And I love how big it is. Like it's it's a pretty big, you know. Here, let me, that way. It's like the size of my hand almost. So I could definitely use this for multiple things. This would be a good belly band, you know. Or you could cut it in half. So lots of different uses, very cute. Um, okay, this one was for fun, just because it's weird and I really liked it. It's a fish. It's like a, I guess an ornament, but it's a bell of some sort, but the tongue is another fish. So it's like eating the fish. <laughs> the weird things I find, but I don't know. It looks like it could have been hand carved, maybe hand painted. It's really pretty there's no like artist signature or anything got some paint loss but very very cool it'll probably just be something that hangs in my room I have I'll do a room tour at some point I promise but <laughs> it's it's always a hot mess so we'll see um okay and these were interesting. I didn't take them out or anything, so who knows if they're, like, super good. They were a dollar. Um, it says they're stencil paint. So it says peel tip with paper towel to remove self-sealing outer skin, rub paint onto palette, dab brush into paint. So they're basically, like, paint that's a stick, which I thought was kind of cool. So we'll see. If I don't end up, you know, using these, I'm sure, then... They'll probably be going to another home, but we'll see. And I'll just put this back on here because I do not want that to open. <laughs> um, okay. These are, um, oh yeah, I wasn't sure what these were. I thought they were like for desserts or something, but then I turned on the back and it says oval shaker pouch. So these are actually, um... So that way, 
you can create like a little shaker and then you could put it like you know in a card or something like that and you would just cut the shape out and then just glue around isn't that so cool I figured that would be super useful in something um, I've never seen these before I just know about like the one where you can do like the fuse tool and it's um it's basically a tool that will fuse like pieces of plastic together so that way you can create your own shaker card with like a piece of packaging um but i didn't know these existed so that's kind of neat and those were 25 cents um i got these these were 50 cents just because they're fun they are domino beads aren't those so fun i know these would be fun for some sort of journal I'm wondering because it's on both sides, like two and two, if I could do a closure with them, that would be so cool. So to be continued on that. And then the last thing I have before we get into our stack of books is some fabulous Lucky Chickens. These were $2. Um, I actually have a set of Lucky Chickens hanging in my room. But these are small enough to where I was like, I could maybe make little like charms or something out of these. I just thought they were so cute. So I might be cutting this one up. Hopefully that's not bad luck. <laughs> Hopefully that's, I'll maybe look it up. Not that I'm super superstitious, but I'm a little stitious, right? Okay. And we're on to the books. So this one was just a coloring book, like a mini coloring book. Um, but it ha it's a nice size um, for like tucking into a pocket or something, you know, something for someone to do. Um, and the images are really pretty. And I think maybe, yeah, a few of them were colored, which is totally fine. I love that they're one-sided. See, there's the other one. Very, very pretty though. Oh, ooh, that one's really pretty. So those are cool. Those would be fun to like tuck into a journal. Um, okay, this one is another coloring book. And I liked this one because not only are there like empty, um, you know, obviously pages for you to color, but it shows you like the colored image or I guess maybe the original image they took it from. And it's a nice map. So these pictures are beautiful. And there's one... On every page I mostly got it for like this side so here I'll flip through we'll flip through together we got time so first off there's these little ones and those would be great for journaling cards ATCs tags all the things so I love that they're like all in color but look at that oh my gosh isn't that beautiful and it's just page after page of like beautiful images. Like, look at that. So, so pretty. And I love that it's like a mixture of birds and, you know, butterflies and botanicals and the three things that start with B. <laughs> oh, that's a fish. Okay, never mind. There's fish in here too. <laughs> very pretty and I think this one I did get at the Goodwill outlets um, if memory serves me right but yeah so so beautiful lots of great imagery that's gonna be a fun one to cut up um, but it's called the beauties of nature coloring book if you're interested in getting one for yourself very very cool or you know add it to your list if you make a list on your phone of books to look for when you're at thrift stores that's always fun too I always have a few books in mind when I'm looking um, at a thrift store uh, there is one that is very elusive and it's very expensive online um, and I think it's called it's basically like you know the cigarette and bubble gum cards they used to give it's like a catalog that shows all of those in full color and I'm like if I ever got my hands on one of those that would be like so much imagery um so I always look for that one but it's like $50 online if you buy it so <laughs> so I was like if I thrift it then it's worth it but otherwise you know I'll pass okay the next book I have um because I am interested in fiber arts 
is bead crochet. Um, this one was a dollar. And um, I mean, look at that. How would you see that and just not want to get this book? Um, I am very far away from learning fiber arts. I'll just say that. <laughs> but it's something that has always um, intrigued me. I don't know anything about sewing or embroidery or any of that um, crochet. But maybe one day I'll pull this book out and I'll make something amazing. Isn't that so cool? Look at how much time that is. Wow. I don't even know. I'm sure these people probably sell their work afterwards. Like, what do you even price that at? <laughs> it just looks like so much work. Um, I don't know. I would just wear it. Those are so fun. Like, look at that. It's like a junk journaler's jewelry. That's what, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Uh, so beautiful there's like a black and white one that one's cool um so yeah I thought if anything you know it's very colorful you could totally use this book for imagery but I personally maybe at some point in my life would like to make something like this um I love that it's like a little person that is so cute shimmy shan <laughs> shimmy shan i love that okay and last but not least i have um three books these i know are all from the goodwill outlets we'll start with this one this is definitely it has some water damage to it so you can tell um i don't have this one it's a happy day book not a golden book it looks similar right <laughs> um but i thought it was very very cute I mean, it has, like, such great cat imagery. This would be a great little book to alter. And I love cats. So, you know, anything cat-related, I'm going to snatch it. That's just the way I go. Um, so I got that one. And then these are cookbooks. You know, you, if you guys know, I collect old cookbooks. I really love the old cookbooks that are kind of bound by a coil uh, bind and are like, you know, they're like ma and pop type. They're very like local companies. Like, see, this is the gas company, Milwaukee. Um, so, you know, it's like local small companies that put out this publication probably once a year, you know, they share it around maybe Christmas time or something. Um, but it's basically the community submitting like their different recipes that they make at home um and I just I don't know it's something nostalgic for me I love looking at what people used to eat back in the day I think that's so interesting um and I love to cook so you know maybe occasionally I might make a recipe or two just to try it out um I know there's some people on YouTube that do that like they'll get an old cookbook and then they'll like try out a recipe I think that's so fun look at that salty oatmeal cookies that actually sounds pretty good um I used to not like my sweet with my salty but as I've gotten older man I love a good salted caramel um I do like the sweet and salty <laughs> uh so so yeah th this one's super cute it's just a little small one and then this one is um gooseberry patch celebrate autumn and I don't know how this one looks more like a publication like a normal publication but um I love the images in here let me just show you so each like do you see that that's so pretty but look each page has like some beautiful imagery let me just turn isn't that cool like they all have a little something I just thought that was so cool. And I have another one of these somewhere. Um, it's definitely not the autumn one, but I just thought like, if anything, this is beautiful imagery for a junk journal. Um, you don't even have to do anything to it. And that one is Gooseberry Patch, Celebrate Autumn, Vicki and Joanne. Well, that's about it, y'all. If you like this video, please give it a like so I know that you liked it. Um, and if you're not following me, why not? We can be friends. I promise I don't bite. Um, but thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you, um, every single one of you, from those who've been here since the beginning to the newbies. 
I love you all. I hope you guys always stay crafty and have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Mm -hmm.